Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another slick lesson. Somebody had a question about how to make a Rubik's Cube. I'm going to give you a style that won't be printable, but will be pretty slick. So, my friends, let's get cracking. All right, so let me clarify. This could be printed, but it won't be movable. So when you bring out a cube, I'm going to look at it from a corner. I'm going to hold down shift and shrink it and type the number 10 so it's 10 on a side. That is a magic number because I'm going to change the grid to 5. All right, friends, so the amazing thing here is I'm going to drop this on a square so it fits. And now when we grab these spots, it snaps to point zero one as that side. All right, so making sure we have that nudge on, watch this. If we do Control D and just do the arrows to the left twice, it goes to the second spot. If you do Control D again without touching anything else, it memorizes those movements as you duplicate. So now if we grab the shape and do Control D, and this one's cool if you do Control Up Arrow, two clicks, we have just built that side and once again it memorizes the steps so if you just do control D again you have just created the entire first side of your Rubik's Cube so let's grab that entire shape and do control D let's nudge it to the other side one two three four five six notice it's three centimeters that's a mathematical thing that just works pick your color which I'm gonna use orange and then are you ready for this grab that entire set do control D and all you have to do is rotate it 90 degrees and you've just created the other sides from the top you can grab just the ones you care about make sure that you've got all nine notice it says nine shapes I'm gonna choose to make those blue I'm gonna grab these nine notice I've just got them and I'm gonna make them yellow and then I'm going to do the other two sides, kind of the same trick. This time I'm going to grab from the back edge. That's a good way to line yourself up. Make sure that you've got 9 times 2, which is 18. Notice I was missing that blue corner. And when I do Control D, I'm going to rotate to a corner. And I want to flip it this way, 90 degrees. Boom. Now this is a little trickier to select. I think what I'm going to do is just shift click to grab these making sure I snag all three four five six seven eight nine I'm gonna make them white and then up here one two three four five six seven eight nine and they have to be green Alrighty friends, so there you have it, a sweet way to design a Rubik's Cube-like design. Not really 3D printable though, it would be a one-piece shape and those sides are way too thin to actually print. But that grid technique and the other techniques I've shown you with Duplicate are pretty useful. Alrighty friends, make sure you click up there and name your file so you can get back to it at another date. But friends, if you found the video useful, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.